Magandang araw Ang pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon ay ang tungkol sa iba't ibang uri ng computer or the different types of computers So we have here the classification of computers We have the supercomputers, mainframe computers, mini computers, personal computers or PCs or micro computers. So the first one we have here the supercomputers. Ano ba yung mga supercomputers? It is a powerful computer that can process large amounts of data and do a great amount of computation very quickly. So, ito yung mga computer na powerful. Malalakas to, magagaling na computer. It can process large amounts of data. Kahit gaano karaming data ang ilalagay dito, kayang-kaya niya. Kahit sabay-sabay, mabilisan. Kahit ilang, ilang keyboard, ilang monitor ang gumagamit dito kayang-kaya niya and it can do a great amount of computation very quickly napakamabilis na computer to hindi ito naglalag so ito yung halimbawa ng supercomputers supercomputers are used for complex tasks kagaya ng weather forecasting so ito ginagamit para mapredict yung ating tinatawag na weather kung may bagyo man o wala climate research we have scientific simulation and oil and gas exploration ito yung ginagamit nila sa uh, paghahanap ng langis gaya ng sa Palawan supercomputers are used for areas related to science, engineering, education defense and aerospace So, we have here some 10 supercomputers. We have the Titan, we have the IBM Sequoia, we have the K computer, we have the Tiane One, we have Jaguar, IBM Roadrunner, Nebulae, we have the Kraken, Ledes, and we have the, uh, the Jugin. Another type of computers, we have the mainframe computers. So, a mainframe computer, it is informally called a mainframe or big iron. This is a high-performance computer used for large information processing jobs. So, itong computer na to ay ginagamit din sa mga maramihang trabaho. Large information ang kaya niyang iprocess. So, we have here the example. Mainframe computers are primarily used in institutions, research, academics, healthcare, sa hospital yan, libraries, large businesses, financial institutions, we have the stock, uh, stock brokerage firms, and the insurance agencies. Mainframe computers are useful for tasks related to we have the census taking. Ito yung ginagamit nila sa pagsisensus, paglalagay ng mga data. We have the industry and consumer statistics. Enterprise resource planning. Transaction processing. E-business and e-commerce. And the third one, we have the mini computers. So, mini computers is a mid-range computer that is intermediate in size, power, speed, storage capacity, and others. It is between a mainframe and a microcomputer. So, nasa gitna siya ng dalawa. Ito yung computer na yan. Yung nakikita natin, ginagamit yan sa mga cashier, sa cashier sa SM. So, makikita natin ganyan yung computer nila. So, it is a mini computers. The fourth type, we have the personal computer or what we call the microcomputer. So, personal computer or PC, short for PC, is a small computer designed for use by a single user at a time. By the way, yung mga naunang sinabi ko kanina, lahat yung mga computer na yun, pwedeng gumamit ng maramihan. Sabi ko kanina, kahit ilang keyboard, ilang mouse, ilang 
monitor ang gumagamit sa kanya sa kanya lang nakakonekta kaya kaya niya ito namang tinatawag na personal computer it is for use by a single user at a time only so ibig sabihin iisang tao lang ang pwedeng gumamit nito at a time hindi pwedeng dalawa tatlo apat ang gagamit niyan so isa lang so ito na yung tinatawag nating personal computer So, personal computer or microcomputer is now primarily used to mean a PC. But it can refer to any kind of small computer. So, microcomputer, ginagamit din na term sa mga small computer. Kagaya ng desktop computer, laptop computer, tablet, netbook, and smartphone. Mga cellphone natin. They are microcomputer. So, we have here some example of personal computers. So, nakikita natin may tablet, may desktop, may laptop, may netbook, at meron ding tinatawag na cellphone. Ito yon. Meron ding tinatawag na smart TV. Ito yon. So, kapag sinabing PC or microcomputer, merong iba't ibang klase yan. So, the first one, we have the desktop computer. When we mean a desktop computer, it is a personal computer that is designed to stay at one location only. So, ibig sabihin, sa isang lugar lang yan nakalagay. And it fits on, a, on or under a desk. So, ibig sabihin, kasyang kasa yan sa isang lamesa. Kaya nga tinawag na desktop. From the word desk. It typically has a monitor. So, meron siyang monitor, meron siyang keyboard, meron mouse, and a tower or system unit. Magkakahiwalay ang mga yan, hindi magkakasama. So, ang tawag dyan ay desktop computer. Another type of PC or microcomputer, we have the laptop computer or notebook computer. It is a portable personal computer that is small enough. So, maliit lang yung computer na yan to rest on the user's lap. So, kasyang-kasya sa ating lap and can be powered by a battery. So, ito ay pwedeng gamitin gamit yung battery. It includes a flip-down screen. Flip-down screen po yung na i... na... na ipi-flip natin. And a keyboard with a touchpad. So, magkakasama na yung keyboard. Nandun na lahat. Nakakonekta yan sa isang uh, computer. Hindi sila magkakahiwalay. Meron na siyang touchpad. Yung pinaka-mouse niya. Meron na siyang keyboard. And meron na siyang monitor. So, ito yung laptop computer or notebook computer, kasyang-kasya sa ating lap. Another type of personal computer or micro microcomputer, we have here the tablet. It is a wireless touchscreen. So, itong computer na to ay touchscreen naman. Hindi ka nagagamit dito ng mouse. So, it is a PC that is slightly smaller. Mas maliit to and way and weighs less than the average laptop. Mas maliit siya sa laptop. And it uses a touchscreen display. So, ito siya. Another one, we have the smartphone. Ito yung mga cellphone natin. It is a mobile phone that performs many of the function of a personal computer. So, yung cellphone natin, it is a microcomputer or personal computer. So, ang gamit niyan parang computer na rin, parang tab, parang tablet, parang laptop, parang desktop. The same na yung function niya ngayon. Hindi kagaya noon, ang smartphone ay ginagamit lang na pantext at pantawag. Pero ngayon, it is now a very small computer. Another type, the last one, we have the smart TV. 
So, a smart TV, it is also known as a connected TV or CTV. It is a traditional television set. Ito yung parang usually TV natin, na binibili natin. Kaya lang, it has integrated internet. May internet na yun. Pwede natin i-connect yan sa ating modem. Then, pwede tayong mag-internet. So, this smart TV has also an interactive web 2.0 features. So, it allows users to stream music. Pwede na tayong makinig dyan ng music directly to the internet. Pwede tayong manood ng videos. Pwede tayong mag -net na Netflix dyan. Pwede tayong mag-YouTube. So, we can also browse the internet. Pwede tayong mag-Facebook dyan. And, pwede tayong mag makipag-chat gamit yung messenger uh, messenger sa tinatawag na smart TV. And, we can also view photos using this smart TV. So, recap tayo. So, we have here the classification of computers. We have the supercomputers. We have the mainframe computers. We have the mini computers. And, we have the personal computers or micro computers. So, yun yung apat na classification of computers. So, micro computers includes desktop computer, laptop computer, tablet, smartphone, and smart TV. So, those are the different classification of computers. Hanggang doon lang muna ang ating pag-aaral sa ngayon. Ito po si Sir John Skis na nagpapaalala sa lahat na ang kalamang taglay ay isang yamang hindi may aalis ni naman. Hanggang sa muli, Maraming pong salamat.